How is it that every time there's another mass shooting, the NRA tells us the answer is more guns? Yeah, the same group that tells us everyone, including people on the FBI watch list, including people with a history of domestic violence should be allowed to buy semi-automatic weapons. The same group that keeps repeating that good guy with a gun BS. Now they're trying to tell us through the mouthpiece of the president they bought with the $30 million they allegedly got from the Russians that making schools more like war zones will help keep us safe. The president went as far as offering teachers who carry a bonus. Here's his pitch. A teacher would have shot the hell out of him before he even knew what happened. Never mind the armed teacher in Utah who accidentally shot herself in the leg during school. Or the elementary school kids in Pennsylvania who found their teacher's loaded gun in the bathroom. The truth is the high school in Parkland where a teenager with a history of threatening violence who legally bought an assault weapon then used it to kill 17 children and their teacher last week already had an armed police officer. Guess where he was during the chaos? Along with four armed deputies also on the scene who remained outside while inside teachers protected their students. How is it that politicians are always trying to tell you only they know best what works in schools? After decades of telling us that punitive, high stakes testing and school choice would save public education, how's that worked out? Now they're trying to tell us that arming teachers will help stop school shootings. The odds are much higher of an accidental discharge during study period or a disturbed student disarming the teacher. Worse, we picture an angry teacher on a bad day pulling a gun on a student with an attitude. Chances are an armed teacher strikes a bystander or gets shot mistakenly by law enforcement rather than disarming or disabling the bad guy. The rise in mass school shootings, interestingly enough, correlates directly with the surge in high stakes testing that's a fact. Punishing children starting from kindergarten for underperforming on some random test their teacher isn't even allowed to look at will have lasting, immeasurable effects on our society. To every politician who continues taking money from the NRA and school profiteers, shame on you. You've left it up to teachers and students to protect ourselves. If you really want to protect the Second Amendment, let people join a well-regulated militia. But if you really want to keep schools safe, Give us the resources we need to help the most at-risk youth succeed. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find me again.